Hey you guys, I'm so high. Eh, eh, eh. This is my first YouTube video and I'm about to show you a wash and go that I do to refresh my curls during the week when it has too much product build up. So I'm going to drench my hair in water, obviously. I'm using the Curls to Go from Jane Carter, um, the full wash. It works amazing. It leaves your hair so nice and soft. It's like the best. Jane Carter's all the Curls to Go. Like, yeah, that's definitely a go-to. So now I'm detangling my hair, finger detangling. Um, I love to finger detangle because I just, just feel my hair. Like I feel all of it. Take out all the strands. Um, all the knots that are like inside and I could be gentle with it sometimes the lemon brush or the comb is not as gentle as you would want it to be for your hair so I just like to take my time finger detangle feel all the knots um, little by little and I love my hair to be extremely drenched with um, the full wash or whatever I'm using um, for a conditioner and just slowly but surely finger detangle all of them away. All of them, all of them, all of them. Um, I've finger detangled for like since seven months ago. Um, I am a new mom and I have a seven month old and I was having real bad postpartum setting. So finger detangling, I try to do it more gently so I could check less hair as I was before. I'm slowly but surely I'm getting out of that postpartum study. So yeah. I'm gonna show you guys I didn't shed that much hair as you could tell like a little bit. And that's what I love about finger detangling like sometimes combs and the demon create knots that are not even there. So now I'm washing out my comb wash wash it out. Let it dry and wash it out. Hey, let it dry. And wash it up. Oh, anyway, okay. So I'm washing it up. Now I'm using the Jane Carter's Curls to Go, the leave in Untangle Me. This is the best leave in I've used. Like, this is my to go to all the time. It's so bomb. Yes. It's real bomb. It leaves your hair so, like, soft and it has a lot of flip. This is the Michelle L Organic Honey and Ginger Deciding Gel. It's really good. It gives you like a soft type of hold. And this is my Jojoba Oil. It's the best. It has sheer bum, which we like naturally lack in the middle of our head. And um, I like to use Jojoba Oil because it's just a real soft type of oil. And it's really good for your hair. So I'm going to put some in my hand and put some outside of my hair. And then um, off camera, which I didn't show, I put some like a little bit inside of my scalp and massage it for a little bit just to like get my semi line of the head going, you know. So yeah, I'm just rubbing that in. And now I'm taking this little piece of hair. I'm gonna... <laughs> I was jamming, you guys. I cut out a lot of funny parts from the video because it was too long. I'm gonna saturate my hair with water. Drench it. I like to like work with my hair really drench so that I can get the best definition that I can for my hair. So I drench it with water and make sure like it's really nice and wet. Especially on the ends that is like the most driest part of um, my hair. For my conditioner, I'm gonna put like a quarter amount size. Um, I like to have like not too much product, but just enough product. I don't like it to feel like dry. And I really like to just massage in um, that conditioner into my hair to make sure that all my strands are nicely covered with the leave-in. And then my gel. I have like two squeezes, maybe three depending. <clears throat> also like maybe quarter size and then I put that in and also slowly massage it and I like to focus on the ends mostly I don't like to put that much gel close to my roots because I don't like it to be too crunchy up there I do like volume 
So then I start separating each strand um, little by little, like giving each curl its own definition. Um, you'll be, you'll see further in the video, like my hair kind of just like separates naturally because I kind of have it um, conditioned to separate. Um, as the shimmery method, I like to do most of the time because most of the time I really like a good definition for my curl. So as you can see, that's how my curls. They kind of sort of pop in, you know, little by little from the shoring. Yes, work. Okay, let me stop. So yeah, now I'm gonna skip a little bit and go more when I'm towards the front area of my hair. I'm not gonna show you the whole back. So give it a little example. So now. I'm on the side of my hair. I'm gonna do the same thing, saturate with water, and then I'm gonna saturate it with a little bit of even conditioner and just really work it into my skin. Make sure it's nice and moist. Put some gel on it, wrap it up in there, and there you go. Just like nicely massage it so when you do separate. The curls is bound and everything is nice, saturated and covered with all the products. As you can see, like my hair is already like separating by itself. Sometimes I separate more, sometimes I separate less, just depending on um, how much bouncy and volume I'm looking for. But most of the time, I'm always have like these medium to small size um, curls. I'm separating nice and slowly. This in total takes me like 20 minutes because I really had to like sound hot. Um, before it would take me like almost an hour, but because I started to like learn how to do it. And my hair was shorter. I'm only about to be two years natural in June. So yeah. So when you go, they pop in. Yes, they moving, they moving. And I like to crunch all that in and you know try to enhance the definition as most as I can enhance it. So here I return back at the um the rest of the back and my left side. Those are my curls. Yeah, move it, move it, they move, they move. I'm kind of saying. Okay, yeah. So now I'm just gonna show you how I do my other side. So again, again, like this is just a repeat. Um, wet, 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 over wet. I like to push them in, girl. And then I'm gonna slap some leave-in on there. Again, work it in, work it in. This is my first um, video, you guys. I'm really new to YouTube. I really want to do hair videos because I just learned so much about my hair. I love my hair and I want to inspire other people and give you ideas and just know that there's other people out there too who might struggle with the same thing that you are and we could just all inspire each other and just grow. So please don't get me. I will get better slowly but surely. I'm new to this. So I'm doing the same thing. I have with gel, put my leave-in, and now just separating little by little. And the fur usually I like to do bigger curls. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell, but I, my edges are still. I'm going through the post time shedding on my edges, so I really don't like to put too much tension on the front. Just a little bit more of the fatter curls in the front. Not so fat like finger curl coils. But close enough, but not so close. Okay. Just pretty much that's just like simple. I know it takes time. Um, you can have a down pack. I would have a video coming soon. Um, I don't always do the shingling method. Sometimes I do the um, rake method. See, I'm just putting them hairs back. I don't do that much to my baby hairs and. My edges and um, post-parting shedding, so I just try to lay them like back 
and keep it moving. I don't want to put too much tension. I don't want to do too much to them. And I don't like using um, brushes like on my edges that much because they're really sensitive. So you see them curls, they pop and I definitely have that definition. This gel is really good. Um, this is not my go-to gel, but it does really good. My go-to gel is from um, Camille Rose, the marshmallow one, the gauge. You will see that in one of my other coming videos when I do like my real wash day. This was just a refresh because my curls had a lot of products and um, I just needed a refresh for the week because it felt real sticky icky. So I'm just separating. I really don't have um, a preference, but I would mostly like to put um, all my hair to my right side to like make that bigger right side bang and then the other side like really small and stick together almost. So I like to separate that that bang, but I don't have a preference. If I could, I'll just put it like all back. Like I just like that big, like all around, afro volume, like all even type. But my hair is growing and is doing this like weird, awkward stage right now. So I try to do the best I can with my hair for now. So I'm just separating, showing you how I do the front, basic and simple. Put everything to my right side. So the curls nice and big, I don't like them too small in the front. I like them have them nice little chunky coils when they dry out. You see how I'm only like separated, separated nicely. So I put everything back, looking bouncing, looking cute. Nice and refreshed, ain't nothing like a new refresh of your hair. You can see a new, you can see alive, like, yes, the world. I'm coming to you. What's popping? Okay. I'm but yeah, and then I just like to crunch all that product in. <clears throat> crunch, crunch, crunch. Everything in there. This is my last, um, the Shine On Curls to go. I just like to spray it, um, all over my hair to give it, like, a little bit of shine and just to, um break the gel cast a little bit for when it dries up not that much it's mostly on my front you know look everything nice and shiny and it smells amazing like you will smell that all day in your hair and that's it you guys this is the final final product my refresh wash and go curls is popping really nice and defined you see that I have a little hang charm yeah and that's it. Please like, comment, share. Give me all your comments, your feedback. I will answer all questions. Subscribe. Any ideas of a new, what you want me to put up next. Feedback on anything. That's fine. Good, positive. That's good with me. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. And I'm feeling good. I love watching. Days of the first day. Bye.